Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Train Simulator. Today we are on the South Wales mainline. Now this is quite exciting, I've heard a lot of really good stuff about this. So uh, yeah, we're going to be checking it out. Scenario today, approximately 90 minutes in length. Afternoon and welcome aboard the 1229 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. You'll be driving this Class 800 IET from here at Swansea to Bristol Parkway, where another driver will take over. Please Bob passengers here, set up your train and press F1 for this afternoon's calling points. Now this is a scenario by the fantastic Adam Haig, so we know we're in safe hands, we uh, we like his scenarios, they are good, uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Now this is a free update. And AWS yes, this is a free update to, uh, to the already, uh, hang on, where are we, guard operated, selective door opening, there we go. Oh, that shouldn't open. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Right there we go. We'll uh, we'll have a bit of bit of that. Lovely, and uh, and we'll put some uh, on the side there where we go in. So it's got Swansea currently. Let's hold F7. And oh, is something coming in? No, it's not. Go on, London Paddington. There we go, London Paddington on the screens. Now we're on a nine car. There you go. Not an engine under every single coach, which is why. It was a bit quieter in the middle there. Yeah, we're on a nine car today. It says, uh, drive this Great Western Railway service to Bristol Parkway, where another driver will take over to continue to London Paddington. The year is 2019. Your book stops are below Swansea, obviously. Neath, Port Talbot Parkway, Bridge End, Cardiff Central, Newport and Bristol Parkway. Your maximum speed is 125 miles an hour. Due to the electrification not being complete yet, Please stay in diesel mode throughout the journey. Press, uh, press, press F7 to change your destination display to London Paddington. So yeah, we've got that on already. Now in this part of the video, we are going to be driving as far as Bridge End. That's just over half an hour. We're going to break it up into three half an hour-ish chunks. So uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you'll all enjoy that. Let's pop a bit of uh, bit of that on. Right, off we go, people. Off we go. Full steam ahead. Of course, we are on diesel mode, and this is a Class 800, so, uh, yeah, it is going to be a little bit slower than, uh, than obviously, if we were on electric. Now, coming out of here, you can see uh, all of this has, uh, has had updates. There's new signs. There's all sorts of fantastic things. I say it's a freeware route. It's not a freeware route. That's technically... Mm, yeah, it's, it's technically not true. It's a freeware update. There's a link in the description where you can check that out, but you do need to be in possession of quite a few uh, payware stuff for this to work. The one that you do need is the South Wales main line, because obviously this is the, uh, the modern version. It's got things like IET stop boards. There are things that I am missing. Uh, which you will probably see these signals going the other way of floating. I really don't know what it is I'm missing there because I've reinstalled all the uh, the catenary packs. I've reinstalled all the routes. I've reinstalled uh, everything. There's only uh, there's only one thing that I'm missing, so it's probably in there. It's the uh, the Bristol and Hearts. Is it the Berks and Hearts? Bristol and Hearts. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, railway. But you can go without it. It's a minor, you know, every now and then you'll see a floating signal, but, you know, it's it's one of them. I really don't mind. And I hope you can see past it, too. Maybe one day I'll get it all sorted. Right, there we go. Up to, up to a bit of 40. Full steam ahead. Listen to that. Ooh, the thrash. And past the depot there, the IET depot. It does look good, doesn't it? I'm hoping that eventually someone will bring out a uh, Bristol Parkway to London modern so that we will actually be able to drive the full route. It'd be good if we had a merge as well. Okay, perhaps I'm asking a little bit much there, but uh, yeah, that, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Give a wave to the uh, the X Arriva Trains Wales, class 175 on the right-hand side there. It's quite a lot of the scenery that has been updated as well from, well, from memory. I don't seem to remember this ever looking so fantastic driving around here. You've also got uh, the old depot on the left hand side. Look how overgrown and tired it looks in comparison to, uh, to what it used to be like. It does look knackered, doesn't it? Look at that. Quite sad, really, but uh, at the same time, it's, uh, you know, things have moved on, haven't they? 
let's uh, let's have a bit of that, a bit of that as well. Oh, saucy! Right, we'll have a uh, we'll have a screenshot there. Look at that, beautiful. We'll also have that back if that's all all the same to you. It does look good. The, this livery really does suit these trains. I was a little bit sceptical at first when the uh, when the Great Western Green came in, but no, now I, I am convinced it really does look brilliant. So yeah, going over the major uh, the the major bridge out of Swansea, there. It's quite a uh, a semi impressive bridge, isn't it? I quite like it. I really do quite like it. A lot of the foliage as well is uh, is massively overgrown. It, it, you feel quite enclosed in this. I mean, I don't know if you're sort of getting it from me, but I am a massive fan of this route. It is an essential. If, if you've got the requirements, this is an essential in your train sim library. Oh yeah, hang on, don't forget your, uh, your speed set. We've got to find a way to get all this done before next week as well, don't we? Because uh, there is the uh, oh, what is it now? I can't remember what it is. It's the Glasgow to uh, to to watch McCall, that that main line with the three eight five that's coming for this as well, which is really exciting as well. I'm hoping that'll be good. It's by Thompson Inter Interactive, even. They've never never let us down before, have they? They've uh, they've got quite a lot in the uh, in the Scotland area done. See, so yeah, uh, I am looking forward to that. The only problem with this uh, this South Wales main line between Swansea and Cardiff, there's not an awful lot to see. It has to be said, there's not a lot to see. And it's not the quickest. I mean, 70 mile an hour, we have got full steam ahead here. And we're struggling to get above 65. Look at that, it's chronically slow. Another little bridge there. Yeah, it's, it's an area of the world that I don't really know that much about round here. I've never been on a train between uh, Cardiff and Swansea. I probably should. Uh, there's plenty of trains that do come down here. You know, whether it be Great Western or, of course, um, I could always, from Manchester, get the, uh, the Mark IV local hold set down here. That'd be fantastic. There is also a bunch of scenarios that come included with this, and the Mark IV set is part of it. You can drive that from Swansea. Uh, I don't know quite if it behaves as it should with the 67. Uh, I, I, it's a little bit weird. I drove it and we're like, ooh, I don't know if I like this. But, uh, oh, there we go. Another uh, flying cucumber going the other way there. Give him a wave. What is it? It's a, uh, oh, it's a double set. Double set 10 car. What's that? Lanzamlet going the other way there. Really do like what they've done with the bridges there. It just looks so awesome. Look at this. This is it's one of the oh hang on a bit of bit of breaking because we're going downhill again. Are we coasting? I'm not too sure, but it really does look awesome. I don't know if it's because it's got the AP enhancement packs left, right, and centre. Obviously, this 800 we're driving is Armstrong Powerhouse enhanced. Maybe it's just the fact that the whole thing's Armstrong Powerhouse that just makes it look so fantastic. I do have the cloud pack. I think this is part of the cloud pack. I've got the weather pack. I've got every pack you could imagine I've, I've ended up buying because most of the time I've shown it off on here. But yeah, it really does make it look... Looks good, doesn't it? It really does look good. I used to think this was actually quite a boring drive. I, I like this bit between Cardiff and Swansea. Uh, but the, uh, or Swansea and Cardiff if you go in this way. But yeah, between... Um, between Cardiff and Bristol, I thought it was quite a boring, dull drive. But now, yeah, I, I really can't get enough of it. What have we got here? Skewen, is it? Yes, it looks like. Of course, it doesn't break for you when you've got it on speed set. If you're in diesel mode, if you're on electric, you can just leave it on 100% and if you're going downhill it will break. But for some reason on diesel mode, it doesn't do that for you. It's very peculiar. 
bit of shrubbery uh, encroaching onto the line there. That'll need getting, uh, that'll need cutting back. I think we'll leave it till about half a mile, then we'll put a little bit of braking in uh, for this 40 that's coming up. I did want to do a live stream on this, I really did. Uh, I was trying to get one done over the weekend. The videos have been a little bit delayed. <laughs> yeah, railway videos delayed. Who would have thought? But uh, yeah, the videos have been a little bit delayed because um, we've been working on the bus. We've been working on the B7 hourly over the weekend. I've found that I've not had a lot of time to record. So where I should have had five evenings off, where I could have got plenty of live streaming done, we've actually been up at the bus until late, fighting with it. And uh, there's been a lot of expletives. There's been a lot of... Uh, a lot of shouting and swearing, and uh, and generally hitting things with spanners. I know you think, no, no, Joe, you you're wrong there. No, you you hit things with hammers, not spanners. No, there there were genuinely several occasions where things have been hit with spanners as well. Uh, <laughs> becoming quite au fait with my tools, I'll tell you that now. Uh, but yes, yeah, so please accept my apologies. Like I said, I did want to sort of do a, a trip all the way down and all the way back on a live stream, but uh, sadly, it's not to be. This is another action pack weekend for me because uh, my other half is doing the Great North Run uh, which, hang on, when, when's this going out? Is this going out Saturday? So yeah, it will be tomorrow, it'll be the Sunday uh, that is doing the Great North Run so we're up in Newcastle. Uh, if you are there and you happen to spy us then do do say hello of course if, if that's your neck of the woods. But uh, yeah, so again it's one of those, we'll be up there, we're going up Saturday night and staying over into the uh, into the Sunday He's doing the run on, uh, oh look, Transport for Wales signs. Doing the run on the Sunday, so uh, yeah, again, another weekend with no live streaming. So, uh, sorry about that, folks. I absolutely, oh, floating, floating post, that's my fault, probably. You've got GSMR blue boards there. That it really does bring it up to a, a modern standard, which I shouldn't sound surprised at. Oh, hang on, where are we going? Past the end of the platform? It would appear so. If you look, we've got the uh, the IET markers. You can see those on the Trans Pennine network and obviously the Great Western network into neutral and uh, and get those doors released. Right, if we, uh, we nip down here, have we? Right, so obviously it's just the front coach that hangs off here. Oh, why is it not letting me? Right, it's not letting me do that. Are we are we too far down? Should we? Hang on. This is going against every rule book. Or every set of rules. Because obviously it's just not quite picked us up. Right, there we go. There we go. Obviously this door's not opened. I went ever so slightly too far. I don't get it. Like, why didn't this door open? Or that door? Or, you know, all of these doors that have now opened. Why couldn't they open before? I don't know. I don't know. This coach has obviously opened, and then the very back coach. I don't get why they don't just have the two back coaches hanging off. It, it seems like a bit of a more logical way of doing it, but uh, rather than having to announce the very front coach and the very back coach will not open at this station. It's, yeah, peculiar. But it is what it is. I mean, the 10 car, I reckon it'll be like from back when the HSTs used to come down here. There'll be some reason that it's like this. Manchester Great Western only used to do 2 plus 8, didn't they? So, hypothetically, you'd only have one coach. If the front and back was an HST, you'd have seven coaches in the middle. So, yeah, if you had an extra coach, there'd only be one hanging off at, uh, at Neath. Obviously, the, uh, the IETs are a little bit longer. You see, I love these Transport for Wales signs. Absolutely love it. It's got the Transport for Wales logo on as well. Oh, is it time to go? I think it might be. Off we go. Right, full steam ahead. Oh, they sound like they're working hard, don't they? A 
Of course, not forgetting that these nine cars actually don't have that many engines under them. I think they've only got five engines under them. Uh, so you have one at the, uh, so you've got none under here, and you have one, two, none, three, none, four, five. So for a nine carriage train, only five engines. And let's not forget as well that these engines are not as powerful as the engines found in 802s. So uh, on an 800, it really is quite a, it's quite slow on diesel. I'm surprised that they use them on here. But then again, I say I'm surprised they use them on here. It is electric after Bristol for most of the way. The only alternative really would be to send them down to Penzance, wouldn't it? And uh, that's probably better for 802s to go down there. I think there's a mix, isn't there, that come up here? Of, uh, of 800s and uh, 802s. I know there's a couple of scenarios where you drive 802s instead. Look at that, full steam ahead, 100% acceleration, and we're going to... Uh, we're just going to get to the 90 without going over 70. Beautiful. Port Talbot Parkway. Port Talbot Parkway. Uh, Port Talbot Parkway. There we go. Get your teeth in, love. Next stop. Due in five minutes. Obviously, this is the uh, the more express service of the two down here, isn't it? It looks like Transport for Wales seem to pick up the, uh, the all stops. Is that Britain Ferry we're going through? It looks like it, doesn't it? Of course, the route that we uh, that this has replaced, the South Wales Main Line, obviously this is the updated version, as I say, but the one it replaced, I always thought was pretty good, to be honest with you anyway, because you had things that we hadn't seen before in Train Simulator. You had rubbish in the tracks, you know, you had, uh, particularly, I think it was at Port Talbot Parkway, where that was a, a big thing, there was a lot of rubbish in the track. I think it's got a whole new station building now, hasn't it, from uh, from the old, the old route? can't believe that we're going to have some electric wires and they're not allowing us to use uh, electric mode. It's cruel, 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 cruel. But I thought this, I'd pick this scenario to do first uh, because of course let's not forget that uh, if, if they're saying the wires haven't been finished yet, yet all the scenarios they have been finished, it makes sense to do this one first, doesn't it? Where well, the wires aren't finished, so it's like this is, it, it makes sense in my head. You'll, you'll probably know what I'm on about. I hope you do. You usually do, don't you? For those of you who said no, very rude. I uh, didn't catch that station. I'm sure some lovely person will point it out to me in the comments. Go on, what's the one after Britain Ferry? Someone will know. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit more slowing down. Yeah, a little bit more. Oh, I thought we'd have had that where we'd have slowed down. Ah, that'll do, won't it? I slowed down too much now. Never mind. Oh, 66 light loco going the other way. Bit of Colas 66 action. Lovely stuff. Oh, look at the track there where you go up and over. Brilliant. It's right windy route this, isn't it? Multi-story car park on the left there coming flying down into Port Talbot Parkway. I don't think it is. It's Bridge End, isn't it, where there's uh, there's the new... Oh, no, it might be here where the, the platform's in the middle. It is Port Talbot Parkway. It should be a big, brand-new station building on the right-hand side. Just over here somewhere. And when I say on the right hand side, I do of course mean on the left hand side of the station. I think. Oh no. There's buses in a car park there. I don't know, did they extend the platform maybe for these uh, these IETs? I think I've come a little bit. Oh no, it's there, isn't it? Hang on, keep going, keep going. Don't 
don't think you're meant to take it quite out of gear until uh, until you've come to a stop. But uh, but there we go. Look at that. So this, oh, not that, not that. This I think is all new from when we last. I mean, look at it. It's hideous, really, isn't it? When you think about it, you know, like such a blot on the landscape. All these old houses, and then you've got just this that's not particularly in keeping with the local area at all. I think it's absolutely awful. It's a really impressive modern structure, isn't it? And I'm sure that it does improve uh, the... Uh, I'm sure it improves everything immeasurably. Blackstone President's there with the Gemini back end. Nothing changes on train sim, does it? But, uh, but yeah, I'm sure that it improves everything to how it used to be. You've obviously got some disabled access parking there as well. But it doesn't change the fact they could have made it look a little bit more in keeping with the local area. What about that? That's quite dark, isn't it, for a screenshot for the front of a video? I quite like that, though. Shame the uh, the sun's not a bit more. We'll, we'll take it. What's the worst situation we could have? If if you decide you don't like it, then uh, then then you can, you know, delete it. It's the magic of uh, of, of computing, isn't it? Right. So Port Talbot Parkway, and then it's right away down to Bridge End. Then what we'll do is in the next episode we'll drive to somewhere. We'll drive to Newport and then we'll probably do in a very very short last episode we'll uh, we'll drive Newport to Bristol. Either that or we'll we'll just drive half an hour and, and sort of pick up the action halfway through while we're speeding along. Something like that. We'll work something out I'm sure. We'll bob it in forward while he'll, uh, while the guard's shutting the doors. Seems a bit of a sarcastic buzz, doesn't it? Guard mustn't be in a very good mood. There we go, full steam ahead. See the industry on the right hand side there from uh, suburban, I say suburban Cardiff, it's quite a way out isn't it, Bridge End and uh, well it's at least 12 miles to Bridge End and then all the rest to Cardiff, so uh, but suburban or industrious South Wales, yeah. There'll be a lot of people there, like you, you are aware that Port Talbot is clearly not Cardiff, in fact that is probably Port Talbot isn't it, all the industry over there, probably where the boats all come in and out the port, if you will. Mm. Again, don't, don't hate on me. I've never been past Cardiff. Quite unexplored, really, to say that, you know, I've, I've worked on the railway for quite a while. I, I'd say I was a fairly well-travelled person. But, yeah, I've never been west of Cardiff. I know. I have been to Tembe. I got heat stroke in Tembe a couple of years ago. Who gets heat stroke in Wales? Yep, you're, you're actually listening to someone who gets heat stroke in Wales. Yeah, it was very, very poorly, actually. Very, very poorly. Um, yeah, we went camping, and it was very hot, as you can imagine. And uh, I thought, oh, it's Wales. It'll be fine. Didn't drink enough. Uh, yeah, it, 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 not funny, folks. Heat stroke, not funny at all. But uh, but there we go. So I have been to Tembe, but just not on the train. I quite like to do that 150 stroke 2 that leaves Manchester Piccadilly that goes all the way to Pembroke Dock. That is a, an impressive journey on a 150 stroke too, isn't it? Of a uh, couple of goods loops, I imagine, that were going round there. Surprise, nothing sat in there, but I guess, uh, I guess it must be a quiet day. Maybe there's a reduction in traffic because they're putting some wires up. I'm not sure.
And they do actually manage to get up to 90, don't they? I mean, we're, we're struggling to get above 85 right now, but they, they will get there. I don't know if off, off the mark... Oh, we've got some EWS stuff in the right-hand side there. From a standing start, I reckon these are probably quicker than an HST, but I mean, when it gets up to this point, I think the HST have met mincemeat of it on diesel. I, I really do. I'm, I don't know the uh, the actual, like, performance aspect of it, but, like, from an HST, I reckon, I reckon at this speed, the HST would just pull away. It would have better torque uh, at the higher speeds than the IET. Is, is, do, does people... Do people seem to think that that might be a thing? But again, off a standing start, I think these are quicker. It's just a shame that the uh, the QSK19 isn't a manufactured diesel engine anymore. That's the uh, the engine, the diesel engine that can be found underneath Voyagers, underneath Class 185s, underneath Meridians, underneath 180s, you know, it's quite a, a well-used diesel engine. But I can't help but think that these would be flying machines if they had them underneath. I don't know if they're quite as environmentally friendly as the uh, whatever it is that's under these. Is it a Rolls-Royce of some sort? No, it's Rolls-Royce. Oh, no, look, it's not keeping 100. I've got 100% throttle on, and we're not getting above 90. It's quite a uh, 1 in 139 incline here. Sure, which station this is. Keep an eye out, people. There we go. Uh, oh, look at that. Pile! No hanging about. I guess we'd do 100 going the other way. But uh, yeah, there's absolutely no danger. And we don't need to slow down for this 90 at all, do we? Because, I mean, we're struggling to speed up to 90, we're struggling to maintain 90. I may as well knock that down to 90 and on the speed set. I don't think we'll need it, like I say, but uh, but better to be safe than sorry. It looks like it levels out sort of about here. Does that look like it levels out to you? Come on, train. What time are we due in? 13.01. Our estimated time of arrival is 1300, so uh, yeah, we should be fine. Ah, there we go, just at the signal, you can see we've just gone over the, uh, the crest of the hill there. Mm. Looks like they're building some sort of bridge there, doesn't it? Bit of construction going on. Maybe there was a level crossing, hence the whistle boards, and, uh, and they're doing away with it and putting a bridge in instead. They, they seem to like that now, don't they? It seems Network Rail's mission to eradicate level crossings, due to them not being safe. Of course, a level crossing is perfectly safe if it's used correctly. If, uh, if people are going to not use it as it's meant to be, and they're going to try and skip the lights, or they're going to mess around on it, then yes, of course it's not safe. But uh, yeah, they, they seem to want to put a lot more bridges in now where they can, just to uh, avoid any sort of uh, any sort of hassle with that. Uh, down to 75. Try and maintain 75, but again, it's you see it's downhill, isn't it? So it's not going to hold it.
It's a very relaxing drive, isn't it? Now we've uh, we've sort of got on with it. It is like two different routes. I mean, it, it is technically two different routes, isn't it? Like the the Bristol to Cardiff section is completely different to this Cardiff to Swansea bit. That they, they really are. They're like in completely two completely different locations. I know that they are in different locations, as I say, but like this is windy. It's two track. It's quite slow in comparison. The other bit, bit's very, uh, I mean, this is enclosed, isn't it? The other bit's very sort of wide open. You know, the, the four track, quite fast running. I think it goes up to 95. Okay, this goes to 90, but uh, yeah, obviously it's electric now. So there's, there's, there really is two massive differences between the two routes. You, you sort of feel a little bit like, oh, right, okay. It's like on the Trans Pennine route when you get out at Church Fenton. You know, from Manchester you've been you've been weaving your way over on two track running. And then at Church Fenton it's bang, four track, off you go. Hundred mile an hour, four track, whee! Right, there we go, we're uh, we're gonna make this. Start slowing down now for uh, for bridge end. It's where today's video is going to end as well. And of course, next time we're going to continue Bridge End through to. Uh, should we do Bridge End to Cardiff and then we can do the full run uh, next time? Bristol Park. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and do that. We need to do a bit more slowing down if we're going to stop at Bridge End, of course. Uh, yeah, right, we'll, we'll do one of those. We'll either go Bridge End to Cardiff or Bridge End to Newport. We'll, uh, we'll find. We'll probably do Bridge End to Cardiff, actually, because that's about 25 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Right, bridge into Cardiff and then Cardiff all the way through, as I say. So, uh, yeah, thank you so so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments section. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do show your appreciation for uh, for the video. Click that like button. Uh, it would put a smile on my face. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing, because as I say, there's plenty more exciting things coming for Train Simulator, i.e. the rest of this route. So, yeah, do, uh, do click the subscribe button so you never miss out on any of that. And uh, do click the link in the description which will show you where you can get this route. Definitely worth it. Absolutely worth it. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.